Maka is guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Starfield, and this is my Skill Magazine's locations guide. In this video, I'll be showing you 25 of the easiest to get skill magazines, which are basically free buffs and perks that you can grab for your character. Not only will grabbing these make your weapons do more damage, make your character have a higher carry capacity, but you'll also unlock an achievement along the way. Let's start the video off with the easiest one and probably the first one you'll grab, which is Constellation Guide 01, available on Alpha Centauri on the Jameson planet inside of the Lodge. This is an area you'll come to multiple times throughout your playthrough. It's on the desk right near the artifact area. Once you pick up a skill magazine, it does get added to your inventory under notes, but don't worry, they don't have any masks, so you can carry as many as you want. Let's stick on Alpha Centauri for a little bit here, and we're gonna stay on the Jemison planet, and the easiest way to grab the next few is by spawning in New Atlantis. This will get you to the Star Yard. We're gonna go to the well, but I'm gonna show you how to get there through an elevator because I got lost for a while looking for this place. Go up the ramp, go towards hotel and shopping. You'll notice the merchant store right in front of you. Very useful to buy resources you may need for research, by the way. But if you go around this building to the right-hand side, you should find an elevator, and that elevator can take you to a place called The Well. You'll probably go to The Well as a part of the storyline, so don't worry if you haven't found it yet, but this is a way to get there. And once you get to The Well, you can pick up two of these skill magazines. The first one, go down the steps and to the left, there is an electronics store. I believe it's called Apex Electronics. And if you just walk in through the front door, look on the desk to your right, you can pick it up. This one's great as it allows laser weapons to do more critical damage. We're gonna stay inside of the well for the next one. This is from the door we used to enter. Instead of turning left towards Apex Electronics, go straight and then turn to the right near the end of the hall to find Kay's house. And here you can just go through the little plastic sliding door thingy and turn to your right, go through the next one, up the steps, turn to your right and find the new Atlantean number five. This one will permanently grant you a recipe. Now for these next two, we're gonna keep staying on Alpha Centauri. We're gonna go to Jemison and we're gonna go to the Mast District. You can use the little tram car if you aren't able to fast travel here. And we're gonna go to the Mast, which is the large building that you'll spawn kind of right under. In order to get access to the elevator, you may need to complete the United Colonies faction mission called Supra et Ultra. And this should allow you to gain access into all of these areas. But if you go behind the receptionist into the elevator, you can go to the cabinet chambers. And at the top here, go to the left, go take another left into the office of interstellar affairs, go to the office on the right hand side at the very, very back. And on the desk, you can find Nova Galactic Manual 3. Additionally, during that Supra A Ultra faction mission for the United Colonies, you will also go to the basement, which is where the Vanguard pilot simulator is. And you'll get there through the main mission, but you can just use the elevator to get there very easily. As soon as you enter, walk forward, take a left-hand turn into the first door on your left, finding the Vanguard Space Tactics 01 magazine on the desk. This one's super useful because it just lets your ship just do more damage. Same system, same planet, same area, roughly. You can fast travel to the residential district or use one of the tram cars. As soon as you're here, usually right behind you from where you spawn is the Pioneer Tower. Go to the Pioneer Tower, go through the lobby into the absolutely blinding light if you're there at the exact same time of day as me and you'll end up on the balcony. There are three little tables on the balcony and one of them will have the new Atlantean number three. Still in the Alpha Centauri system near Jemison, you'll want to go to the orbit and here you'll be able to find a ship called the Eye. This may require you to make some progress through the main storyline, by the way. Select it and dock with it in order to enter it. And once you board it, just go forward into the main area, turn to the right to find an area called Facilities, 
The first room, I believe, is the personal training room, and on the desk here, you can find Peak Performance 01, which, if you're like me and always running out of inventory space, is extremely useful. Moving to the next star system in the story, you'll probably end up at Sol, which, if you're watching this video, is where you live. There's a planet here called Mars and an area called Sidonia. So go to the Sidonia Central Hub, and then we'll go to the residential area. The residential area is pretty easy to find. Just head down the hallway when you enter the building, head down the first ramp, and at the bottom of the ramp, turn to your left. You'll see an orange door. As you approach it, it'll say Sidonia Residential. Interact with it to end up in the residential area where we'll find two skill magazines. The first one, head down the stairs. You'll enter into the community center area. Turn 90 degrees to your left to enter into a bit of a hub. And here, if you turn left again, you'll be able to find this area, which is called the Mining Quarters, finding the Mining Monthly Issue 07 on the right-hand side. Staying in the same area as the previous clip, we're still in Seoul, on Mars, in Sidonia, in the residential area, go down the steps into the community center. We're gonna go back to that kind of same area we were just at to the left through the door. This time we're gonna go to the far right hand side where we can find the United Colonies area. And through this door, if you take a left hand turn and look on the big desk in the corner, you'll find the UC Defense Manual 03. We're in the Sol system and there is a planet called Earth. Earth has a moon and that moon is called Luna. Go to the orbit of that moon and you'll find the Nova Galactic Star Yard. You may need to make a little bit of progress through the story in order to unlock this, but when you dock it, board it, and head inside, you can find a collectible called the Nova Galactic Manual 02. Head through the door. This is a little bit of a maze, but realistically, this is the only place you can really go. If you go through the right-hand side, there may be some enemies here, and they do respawn every now and again, which I was kind of surprised to learn. But if you head up the stairs and then just kind of keep going to the kind of central area that you're meant to go to, up the next set of stairs, up the next set of stairs after that, and to the right-hand side at the little split once you reach the workroom, go around the corner finding the collectible pretty much just sitting on a desk right in front of you as soon as you open the doors. Still in Seoul, there is a moon of Mars called Phobos. If you go to the orbit of Phobos, you can find the UC Vigilance, which is also a ship you will be taken to automatically should you commit any crimes or fail a contraband scan. Once you get onto the UC Vigilance, you'll be able to head up the elevator and you'll go to the main central room. From the command center, take two left-hand turns into a small side room. Here you'll find the Combatech Catalog 02 skill magazine. If at any point during this video you can't access a place I'm going, just keep playing the main storyline, you'll end up there eventually. We now move on to the Narian system, and in the Narian system there is a planet called Dipala. Here there is an orbit, and a ship in this orbit is called the Clinic. If you go up to the clinic and dock into it, there's a bunch of things you can do there, which you probably already know. But in the waiting room on the desk on the left-hand side, you can pick up Constellation Guide 04. For me, my achievement unlocked, but you probably still have a few more to go. We're going to stick in the Narian system. There is a planet here called Nira, and on Nira, there should be a location called One of a Kind Salvage. If you land here, there is a nearby skill magazine. From where you land, you want to enter into the building kind of 45 degrees to your right hand side. The closest door is if you just drop down and then hook a turn to your left through the airlock system. There's like seven doors that go into this area though, it doesn't really matter which one you take. Once you're inside though, this building is pretty small, you want to end up on the second floor you want to end up kind of in the main area and near one of the top of the staircases you can just find a long shelf on the shelf you can find uc defense manual 01 
We now move on to a system called Cheyenne. There's a planet called Aquila, and on that planet is Aquila City. You'll come here naturally through story progression by completing a mission called The Empty Nest. Once landed on Aquila City, walk forward and go to the city square. The large building directly in front of you should be called The Rock, and that is the building you want to enter first. Once you enter the rock, head up the staircase on your right hand side that leads to the bar. Once in the bar, head up the next staircase that leads into some hallways and at the top of the staircase, take a right hand turn. You'll notice some doors at the end of the hallway. Don't go through them. Instead, at the end of the hall, turn to your right hand side to find yet another staircase. Head up that. And then once you're at the top of this staircase, go through the office door, turn to the right and find yet another staircase. You're now at the very top floor and in front of you on a bench between two chairs, find Gunslinger Guide 01. The next few skill magazines can be found in Aquila City, and I'm going to be using the central plaza as my reference point here, standing in front of the rock. Instead of going into Dwayne Johnson, go to the left and up the staircase, go up the next staircase, and the building on your left at the top of the stairs is the consulate. Go into the consulate, and here you'll find a very easy to find collectible on a desk directly in front of you as you enter. Another useful one that will increase our carrying capacity. Nice. Still in Aquila City from the Central Plaza. Go past the statue to the left. You'll see a Chunks uh, food place to your left here. Follow the dirt path and past the museum, which will be on your left here. And at the end of this path, you should be able to find a small little shop called Sinclair's Books, which is exactly where you would expect to find a magazine. On the desk on the left as you enter, find Gunslinger's Guide 02. Yet again, we are in Aquila City, and again, to unlock some of these areas, you probably had to make some progress through the main mission called The Empty Nest. From the plaza, head up the stairs to the right, and you should be able to find the Co Estate. You ended up here during the mission, The Empty Nest. This is where Sam Coe's parents live, or his dad at least. And once you enter the Co Estate, there are only a couple of rooms in here. If you take a 90 degree turn to your left, you'll end up in the main bedroom. And next to the main bed is a table. And here you can find Solomon's Adventures 01. This will permanently increase your weapon damage at night. Another easy to grab skill magazine is in the Wolf Destination. On the left hand side in orbit, you'll be able to find a ship called The Den. Feel free to bring contraband here to trade it off, but once we get here, there's also a skill magazine. From where we enter, once we board, go forward to the right and then through the hallway at the end of the area. And here, just keep going and following the hallway into the next room and into the next room yet again. There's a bedroom here and on the shelf, find UC Defense Manual 02. Next up, we are in the Voli system on the planet Voli Alpha in the Neon Core area. This will be a location that you will for sure visit in the All That Money Can Buy main mission, which I believe is the sixth main mission of the game. From the center of the Neon Core, from the elevator you use to enter it, near the Trade Authority across the alley, you'll be able to find the Free Star Rangers. Here, you'll just want to enter in through the door to enter into the back area. Once in the back area, head through the door on the right-hand side in the corner, which leads to a staircase. Take that staircase to yet another door into a room, finding Gunslinger Guide 04 on the table. If you can't enter this room, try the next collectible or complete some of the Freestar Collective Faction missions. We're gonna stay in the Neon Core, and again, we may need some progress through the All That Money Can Buy main mission just to have access to all of these areas, but from that central area, instead of going to the left, I'm gonna go to the right towards the Astral Lounge. And here there's an elevator bank that leads to a couple of small little companies. And I'm going to use this elevator bank to access two different areas. The first one is going to be the Xenofresh Corporate HQ. 
take the elevator to end up in their lobby and once in their lobby you can access the neon knights skill magazine just sitting there beside some chairs now we just used an elevator to grab the last collectible let's use that same elevator and go up to Celt Corp. and from here just walk forward through the welcome desk keep walking forward there's a white couch directly in front of you find neon knights on that couch and pick it up next up in that same neon core hub area go to the Voli hotel and talk to the lady at the front desk she's gonna bother you about all this stuff going on in her life just get through that conversation and when you can ask her for a room she's gonna ask you how long you need that room that's up to you choose one day if you want to pay the least amount of credits she'll give you a key you can now access the elevator so go into the elevator and here choose the second floor once you reach the second floor, go through the door right in front of you on your left into a small kind of pre-lobby. Here you'll be able to grab a very useful skill magazine in between two chairs. Not far from Voli, there is a system called Porima. There is a planet here called Porima 3 and an area here called Red Mile. A very useful area if you want to upgrade your ship, by the way. But just head through the airlock into the red mile area and here you'll be able to find the trackers primer 03 skill magazine by heading into the main area going to the right and up the staircase to the second floor i believe there are three doors here go through the middle door or the second door finding it on the table near the back window Last but not least for this video, I'm going to show you two more skill magazines you can find in Crix in orbit on the left there. There is a ship called the Key. And to get here, you will need to have made some progress in the Crimson Fleet Faction quest line, completing the mission called Rook Meets King. If you've made that progress, you're allowed to come here and not get attacked. Go inside of the cargo bay, go into the Reckoner's Core. And what you're looking for is the bar, which I believe is called the Last Nova, in the corner of that main area. Head inside and then head forward down the steps. And near the bar, there's a ping pong table in the corner. Near there is a table. On that table, find Grunt Issue 04. On board the key, you can also find Peak Performance 05. In the Reckoner's Core, as you enter on your left, you'll find the gym, which is connected to the shooting range. And here you can find a very useful skill magazine. If you followed the video and you were able to get all 25, then you definitely got the achievement for getting 20, which is called Thirst for Knowledge. Thank you so much for watching the video. Drop a like, share it with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.